Hello and welcome to a Kooky Corner of YouTube. Today I'm going to show you um, a little something I was concocting earlier this week and um, really enjoying the process of it. I've not finished this particular one yet but I thought I would show you how to make your basis of um, a matchbox of dreams <laughs> um, so that you can have a go and you can create your own little um, joy in a box. Um, the basis of it all is um, a, a large matchbox. Well, I don't have any matchboxes in my house. So what I did was I've hunted out and found a template, which is this one here. And it is from a YouTuber called Little Hot Tamale. Uh, Megan Megan A. Marshall and I will leave a link down in the description box as to where you can get hold of one of these and go and watch her video on how to put your matchbox together. Um, I can go through it basically but she will show you in absolute detail and there is a video to go along with it so I will post that down below, pop along and see her video on how to put this all together and that's been such a great help to me um, because with that, I could then create a box like this. So what you basically get is a the matchbox, um, the bit that slides over, which is that bit, and then this one, which is the drawer that goes inside. And also what she says, if you've got a circle punch, you can do half circles for, so that you've got a little area to pull out. I haven't actually done that on mine, but that's something that you can do. But Megan goes all over that in her video. So I'll direct you to that. And then if you want to make up your own matchbox and then come back and see me, that's that's all well and good. But that's all down in the description box. Um, so my idea is I wanted to put a little bit of artwork inside this box and I'll show you inside it now. So I will show you what I have inside this box and then I'll go through um, how I made the inner part of it, which is really very simple. So what I've got here is called a box of flowers. That's what I've called this one. It's this working title for the moment. And it's like a very long concertina box. You could actually leave it in the box and have it as a display. I did consider whether to stick it down to the base and then just have it going out to the side. But in the end, I've just left it loose for now because I have got another side to decorate as well. And so that could be a possibility. Um, but yeah, it's like a concertina box and this is just a little kind of journal, book, concertina you do thing. <laughs> so the one side is uh, like that and then the other side, which I haven't completed yet, is it's been base uh, coloured and I have used for the base my beautiful Cohen or uh, watercolour, the Anna Linky watercolour set which is the one with the eight different sections to it you can get one with four and I think you can get one with six as well but this is the one that I have um and that's that is it's kind of like a dye based watercolour so it, it it really does do the vibrancy on these particular papers and so this is mine it's um that's the front yeah uh, it's be a flower in a world made of stone. Watch yourself bloom. Lots of sunshine and a sprinkle of rain. Spread a little joy and love and cherish your flower self. Um, but I thought that you guys could use this for whatever technique inside bit you wanted. And so I'm going to show you how to make this out of cardi paper. It's quite a thick cardi paper and I'll, show, I'll tell you the sizes of it as well as I go along. Uh, but then that nicely fits inside the box. You could do these as presents for people if you've got any um, like birthdays and such coming up. And I had a little spare bit of cardi paper that I used as an extra slip over to go over the box. And I, I'm thinking of decorating this as well. And also you could decorate the box. You know, you can do whatever you like with it once you've got the basis of it. And that's what I'm kind of going to show you today is how to make the basic 
part of this and not specifically the decoration part of it. If you're interested in, in what I did with this, then I will definitely do a video on this um, if people say they would like to see that and how I put it together. But I think it's nice to be able to put your own spin on something. Uh, obviously, this is this was me just trying out a way of getting it to work. And I'm, I've got ideas for doing some of my poems in boxes. Uh, I don't know if you know, I, I, I do write poetry <laughs> um, that I put up on, um, I've got a website that that goes on specifically. And I'm thinking that I might, with some of the poems that I've got, I might actually not illustrate them, but kind of show them in an art form. And this would be a great way of doing that because I can put words and pictures together on the concertina book. That was my pr my thought process anyway. So I'll grab the piece of cardi paper and I will show you how I put that together. Okay, so this is the cardi paper that I've been using. It's a square uh, piece, which is there's 20 sheets. I'm not actually sure of the size of it. It's 320 GSM anyway. I'll, I'll do a measure of the sheet size. So it's probably 30 it's square, so it's 30 by 30 centimetres basically. Um, and it's quite a thick paper. I'll just grab one out. Oh, I've actually got one out there already. Let's, let's use this one. So it's got these beautiful deco edges on it, uh, which I wanted to try and incorporate in to the piece. So I, if you look at the piece I've got in this box, take it out again, you will see that I have kept those edges. And with the edges that I've had to cut, I've, I haven't cut them especially, I've kind of ripped them along a ruler, but I'll show you how I do that. I use some water to help me along with that technique um, in order to get it so that it's kind of nice and fuzzy and not like a straight cut. Anyway, that's that. What you need to do with your cardi paper is to actually measure how big a, an area that you've got to work with. If you're using an actual matchbox, it might be slightly different to the one that I showed you. If you're using this one, then obviously you can use the templates from the draw part to kind of measure and see how well it will fit that way. And then use those measurements to help you cut out and measure your cardi paper. But I'll be back in a minute. I'll show you how I did this one. Look at that, it wants to fold out and be a star. That's what I love about concertina books. <laughs> anyway, back in a second. Okay, so I've marked along the bottom of the cardi paper exactly where I want my line to go. It's kind of a wibbly line because I measured it against the piece I've already done, but it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I've got some water and I'm going to line up where my ruler goes and I'm just going to wet the paper down the edge of the ruler. So I'm kind of putting quite a bit of water on this one because um, cardi paper is quite thick. Well, this one is and it does need a bit of water to help it break down. It's not like mulberry paper. Okay, so when I've got it like that, I keep my ruler in place and I'm going to try and tear it along the ruler. Now, the water helps to loosen it a little and that wetness will dry off at some point. So then you get a piece like this. And what you need to do is do that twice. So you're going to measure again and then actually I'm going to take it from that end I think oh no maybe not yeah I'll take it from that end so wherever that ends kind of matching it up as best you can you can use some clips to hold it in place if you wanted to and I'm going to get my water and 
drag it down the edge. As I say, it doesn't matter if you get the other papers wet. What you're trying to do is just break down the fibres a little bit, so just to make it easier to tear. Okay, so you've got your two pieces, you've got a spare piece, and as you can see, I kept my spare piece to go around the box, uh, but you could use it for anything. You could use it for small bits of um, artwork, or whatever you like, anyway. So what we need to do now is to concertina this so that it will fit inside our box. I'm going back to my original one, because I know that mine's the same size as this. And so, let's see where my first bend's going to be. Uh, it's going to be about there. Just looking at this and measuring it up. And you're going to fold it over. Like when you used to make fans when you were at school. Paper fans. Well, basically it's a concertina box isn't it so then matching it up and once you've got it exact you can start to make sure those folds are nice and well as crisp as they can be on cardi paper it's it's um it's not the kind of paper that that's good for crisp edges but i just want to see now if that's going to fit in my box mm, might be slightly large and take it down a little further. It's very forgiving, as I said. Um, and take it down a little bit further. So moving that edge, just manipulate it a bit, trying to keep it even. It's not completely even. It's not going to ever be completely even because of the nature of the paper. Um, as, as near as I can and I think that's part of the charm of it actually it's not completely straight so maneuver your paper and make sure I'm getting those edges matching up with each other as well as, well as you can um, not to worry too much if it's a little slightly wonky donkey. Okay. So I'm going to have an edge left here. What I'm going to do with that, because I've got my second piece, because I wanted it to be bigger. You could just leave it at that if you just wanted a small one. But I obviously want it to be joined together with another. And so, to that end, if I can get the right side go around, there we go. I'm going to match it up with this one, and along one edge I'm going to put some of this glue. This is my favourite, this is a felt and foam tacky glue, does well for cardi paper as well. It's kind of fabricy. It's quite nice. So I'm going to stick that to that and turn it over. Like that. I'm going to leave that to set for a little while and then we'll continue with our folding. 
So now I'm just continuing with that folding, matching it up. And making a very thick stubby paper fan. All lined up like so. I quite like that, it kind of slopes down at one edge. Love that. It just gives an extra dimension to it. Now, where your paper's stuck up there, you might want to grab a little bit more of your glue. Make sure those edges are kind of nicely pushed in. Like that. And then you can leave this to dry. Don't take long. And you will have your little concertina book ready to put inside a little matchbox like that and then that would slide inside like so so that's all ready now for you to decorate with your whatever you want to put on it basically it will take stitching as well this i uh, the cardi paper is as i say it's quite like a fabric so it will take an amount of stitching which is good so that's good to know if that's what you wanted to add into yours the stand up as well so you can kind of display your work it makes like a star shape when it's like that and good for displaying artwork on there as well so you could actually take it out of the box and display it or just have it like that kind of sculptural i like that about it as well so there you are a nice little concertina journal box that you can make for yourself and decorate up and as i said if you're interested in a few different techniques this is just this, this was just my trial one. I just wanted to try it and see how it worked. But I've got a lot of ideas for things I'm going to do with concertina boxes in the future. Um, as I said, this was just some painted up leftover parts of this to make yet another bit that goes around. You just bend it around and measure it and crease it and then stick it together at the back. And then I had a little bit of, um, it's kind of like a, a see-through paper that I wrapped around that as well. It had some flowers on the bottom and I thought that fitted rather nicely. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to put together your matchbox of dreams. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> and don't forget um, the description uh, sorry this link will be in the description below so that you can go and grab yourself a template for the matchbox if that's what you wanted to do and also watch along with the video as to how it's put together it's really really simple just a case of bending and folding it in and the cuts are the important part especially on the draw bit anyway that's it from me have a great week i will see you very soon with something else take care and bye bye for now